Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's White Fingers coming at you with another video. Today is literally something way different. I got a green screen behind me, as you can see. It's pretty freaking cool. I got this YouTube video playing right now. I'll link the description of the video, or the URL of the video down below to credit them. I think it's NASA or something. Obviously it has to be NASA, it's taken in the sky. But today is gonna be like a little update video. I haven't posted in a while, and the whole reason behind that is, unfortunately, I broke my oculus head strap like maybe two weeks ago I was live streaming put it on like normal and then the top strap broke across it so I was like crap this sucks no big deal and I had to tighten the sides because of it because it kept drooping and drooping it just it was giving me headaches and not cool so I returned it long story short and I'm getting a new one sent to me but in the meantime I still want to make content I was thinking about PUBG why is my mouse just chilling right here? Look at that. Uh, I was thinking about PUBG. I was thinking like any other games, Battlefield 3. I have that, that's very fun. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stream to YouTube or if I'm gonna stream to Twitch. Uh, I, I know I wanna make content, I wanna stream, and I wanna be a part of the community. And like, I know you guys love watching me and I love reading the comments and interacting, out, interacting with you guys. And I got a triple monitor set up. It's freaking beautiful. If you guys are new to my channel, or old in fact uh, I used to have a triple monitor set up I used for flight sim so I'd like I have a monitor here monitor here monitor here and then I have right here if you want to see it moves the uh, the what do you call it pop filter but got a blue Yeti microphone that I record with so hopefully the audio is coming out clear but Long story short, again, is I want to make content, I want to live stream something, let me know if you guys prefer to see it on YouTube, or if you prefer to see it on Twitch, that's like the number one thing, and what game, let me know in the comments, because I'll do that ASAP, uh, the second thing is, I want to do like a top 5 tandems of the week, or something like that, kind of to bring to light your guys' channel, so say you killed it drifting, you know, really good, because the number one thing that helped me out was Slap Train. Like, making videos, getting recognized on the top 10 uh, clips of the week. And, you know, like half of me, I feel like, do I want to make a top 5? Do I want to do this? Am I stealing his idea? But the other half was like, if it wasn't for him, my channel wouldn't be put out there. You know, and since we're such like a tight community, like I always say, I think it would be good to give back to you guys. So if you guys kill it at drifting, kill it at tandeming, like really good stuff, not like, no offense to slap, but doing like flips in the air and like random stuff and somehow landing in a drip. That's really cool, but it's not what I'm looking for. So if you guys want to send me some clips, I'll link them. I'll put uh, <clears throat> I'll put what to do down below, you know, just it's kind of the same thing as slap, honestly. <laughs> it's uh, just, you know, upload it private or unlisted, excuse me. Give me the URL, I'll check it out and then, you know, I'll do that. And it's a big, it'll be a big contribution, I think, to your guys' channel. Because I know there's some of you out there that are so good, want to start up a YouTube channel, but just can't find that recognition. Like, can't get your foot in the door to making, oops, just slap my mic, to making videos. So I think, you know, seeing someone else drift, because I know there's people out there that are way better than me. And I consider myself like a class A drifter on a set of course of like top 20 people. But I know there's people out there that are way better, have a lot better setup, talk better, you know, a bigger, a bigger, like, I don't know how you describe, a bigger place to grow, you know, like their, their setup and them personally, you know, their channel can skyrocket, but they just need that foot in the door. So that's why I want to do this to kind of give back to you guys. So let me know what your thoughts and feelings are on that. If you guys think that's a good idea. And like I said, you know, I, I don't want to see mail being like, oh my God, he's copying slap, blah, blah. Because, I mean, like I said, 50% is like, it's a really good idea. It's not doing it for my benefit, you know, because it's using your guys' content. I don't think that's monetizable. It's giving back to you guys, you know, because I want to check out your guys' footage, your guys' tandems, you know, and then we all join together again and can go out and drift and find the good drifters and a set of cores of the better drifters, learn from each other and do all that stuff. I can talk about this for a while, but... Those were my main two things. I should be getting the Oculus back soon. Uh, I do want to start another YouTube channel. I'm not gonna tell you the name of it, but for you know drifting in real life and working on my cars and stuff, just because this channel is so game oriented, so game directed, I don't want to split away from that. Like the main priority of this channel was so I could play my flight sim game DCS World and show my coworkers the work. 
and then I got a wheel and I started recording videos, you know, just for fun to look back to show my coworkers. And next thing you know, you know, I'm getting subs, sub, 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 and it kind of my channel for me, you know, I only got was it 5,000 something subscribers. It way more than I thought. Like I didn't even think I'd get one subscriber. The whole thing was for me. So I want to keep it game related since it started game related. I don't want to change the channel and ruin what I have, I guess, started, like accidentally started. I guess that's the best way to say it, but I'm going to be making another channel as well. So let me know your guys' thoughts and feelings of that as well. And I know this video is really split up. I have a lot of stuff on my mind. I kind of just want to kind of put everything out there, like have a big update video. Uh, so there's another wheel company coming out called Feel VR. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have heard of them. Uh, we can go through it right now. Hold on just one second. So check this out. This is some big news. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. If you guys are thinking at all of getting a new wheel or you want to get a wheel like a G920, uh, I know I, I have uh, kind of encouraged a lot of people to get a G920. I think it is the best starter wheel. A lot of people argue with me that the G920 or any Logitech wheel is trash. But the way I look at it is it's a, the best beginner wheel you could possibly get. You know, you don't want to spend like twelve hundred dollars and get a really nice setup and be like hey i hate this i don't like this it's not what i thought of it so if you start off oops so if you start off you know with a cheaper wheel you can get the hang of it and i mean personally i feel like i kill it with the logitech and that's just like the cheapest wheel on the market so imagine if i got a fan attack or something like that and had more feedback more precise wheel you know it kind of goes hand in hand but this is feel vr they are coming out it's kind of cool you guys could check out their website or their facebook it's mainly where they post stuff is feel vr but we can go through and look at this uh so right now they want some beta testers which is cool i'm just going to kind of hit the highlights of this but they want beta testers wanted which is very cool basically what they send in that is you're going to fill out a form and if enough people fill out the form like say 100 people from los angeles fill out this form that's going to put them higher on the list than if one person in Klamath Falls fills out this form. They're not going to set up their thing, their rig, travel to Klamath Falls if only one person does it. So if you guys really want to try this wheel out, that's the best way to do it is get, you know, you and your buddies be like, hey, we all live here, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a hundred of us and you all fill out the form and they say, hey, there's a lot of people of interest that want to do this. So right here is their website. Here is a feel VR wheel. From my understanding, it is coming with one wheelbase, which is a direct drive wheelbase. If you don't know what direct drive is, that means it's like kind of a one-to-one. -one. Uh, Logitech uses two little motors. If you've ever taken them apart, they're called hexical motors. So uh, it's, it's not that much newton meters of torque. I think it's 2.6 newton meters of torque, which isn't that much. A Fanatec, I think is like 16 or 13. So it's it just the feeling force of the wheel, but direct drives have a lot higher feeling force, almost an unlimited uh, wheel rotation. They're the best wheel you can possibly get. They're just so expensive because so much research and development goes into it. But this wheel is different. They're trying to like come on the market hot. So they had, uh, they're doing pre-orders soon where it's, I think it's, we'll see if we can find it like 300 and something. So right here. Yeah. So right here, the feel VR wheel. It's early bird starting from $333. So I don't even know what it comes with. So this is just the wheel then. So just the wheel, $333 for that wheel. That may seem pricey, but it is extremely good. If we can click on this and maybe get a up close picture. Yeah. So we, we, you can just see the wheel. They got custom uh, with RGB lighting in the back, which is cool. They have a connector plug, which is a cannon plug. It's mil spec very good very good uh that's really really good it kind of shows the overall quality of the wheel it looks like it's all metal and this is just a prototype this isn't like a consumer version this is a prototype picture but it looks really good i mean it looks heavy that's uh, another thing using these metal reinforcement brackets kind of speaks to me like it's going to be heavy which if it's heavy there's a lot of mechanical parts and it's going to be able to put out a lot of force feedback and be a very uh, precise direct wheel so let's go back one page and then so that that's a, like a killer deal I'm just showing you guys this just in case you're thinking about getting a wheel this is like the best this is like to go to uh, and then we have the feel VR pedals 
which they say ultra realistic load cell pedals. Hundred bucks. Like, holy crap, that's a good you can get a whole bundle. Look at that. Three hundred and eighty eight dollars. You get the wheelbase, you get the wheel, it comes with what does it look like? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then ten buttons. You know, you can drift with that, you can do rally cross with that. And they come with this wheel as well, which is kind of a more F1 style, like racing wheel type, which is very cool. I've just started getting into racing and that just kind of kind of stands out to me. And then you get the pedals as well. So that's a cool deal. I'm not getting sponsored by this. This is like completely just doing it because I find it really fascinating. And I want to like let you guys know about it because the more people that know about it, like the more people are going to want to buy it. And when the more when more people want to buy it, the higher the quality of the wheel is going to be. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So here are the pedals. It says it uses load cells, which to me looks like springs. It looks like the gas pedal. It looks almost fluid driven or has some kind of hydraulic inside of it. I, I don't really know what a load cell is. So, I mean, I'm just telling you what I see from it. It's got the nice uh, metal plate and with the, I don't even know what those are called, I forget. But to me, these just look like springs, kind of like how my handbrake is. So. Hopefully they're not, what would you call the word? Like a linear spring. So hopefully like you press, 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 and it's just the same motion throughout. Hopefully it like stiffens up and stuff. Cause if you've ever driven a real car, which I'm assuming like 100% of you guys have, uh, with the gas, especially you can't just floor it. It actually has a little bit of resistance. I feel towards end, same with the clutch, finding that sweet spot, especially the brake. I never understood why people took out the little spring in the G920. People always send me that on Snapchat. I'm like, check out this mod, which is cool. I mean, it's like, wow, you dove inside your wheel, but it just makes left foot braking a lot easier. But anyways, that's way beside the point. So this is Feel VR, like I said. Uh, if you guys have money around, or you want to upgrade your wheel, or you're looking into getting into racing online or drifting online, any simulation uh, that requires a wheel, definitely look at this and consider it uh and like i said i'm not getting sponsored from it i just wanted to throw that out there to help you guys out i'm definitely really interested and i'm probably going to pick it up but you can't do payments right now no payments required it says it right there but you can subscribe and enter your email and they'll email you and you'll be part of the system so very good very good uh and yeah here's all this uh the technical specs about it we'll jump into this really quick so the dimensions uh this just numbers to me pedal height numbers to me you guys can read it if you want director th this is the good ones with technical specs this is what i would care about uh direct drive very good infinite rotation very good you could literally probably drift on like twenty thousand degrees imagine that just drifting like of the wheel be super accurate but what a waste of time uh precise sensor i don't know what a precise sensor is to me that's just hopefully where you know you can almost feel like the blood in your hands like when it pumps your wheel moves or i don't know something like that overheat safeguard that's really good direct drive wheels will heat up a lot even the belt driven wheels i know thrustmasters heat up a lot if you put a custom wheel on the belts get hot start overheating ask smiles oh i thought the camera i was like ask smiles but his does that all the time. Uh, let's look at the pedals. So it's non-linear, which is good. I didn't even read this. So load cell non-linear brake pedal. Very good. I was talking about that. That means that it actually increases in force instead of just linear, just like straight. Put stand, I saw that it looked beautiful. All metal construction, very good. It looks like they used uh, you know, anti-rusting material. I don't know why you'd have a lot of moisture in your room, but I don't even know why I said that realistic force magnitudes and curves and that's something you know you'd have to try out to actually feel a lot of these are just statements where you have to try it out and you can kind of take away your own perspective of how the wheel is going to be system requirements you know windows 10 everyone's got that supported games this is another big category assetto corza i racing project cars one and two not project cars one half project cars one and two r factor one and two dirt rally very good if you guys have a wheel and have an oculus and don't have dirt rally you're doing it wrong get an oculus or not get an oculus get dirt rally 
Dirt 3 Plus, that's me and Dirt 3 and Dirt 4, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now this is a game I want to try. I got uh, a buddy of mine, his name's actually Buddy, uh, Street Satiri, or he changed his name, but anyway, Street loves this game with Oculus. It's, he says it's absolutely insane. Kind of get a look around everywhere and drive a big rig. You can drive, uh, I don't know the technical term, like where you can haul two trailers at once, so like a double trailer, a double stacker, something I don't know. American Truck Simulator. Very good. I wonder if there's a big difference besides just the roads and maybe being on opposite side and having different. Oh, kind of just answered my own, kind of just answered my own question there. Shift to Unleashed. I have no idea what that what that is. Oh yeah. So okay. So this is what Shift Two is. It looks like it was a Need for Speed game. I'm just kind of curious to see what that guy's wheel does. So he passes it. Passes it. Not using 900 degrees to 70 degrees. Shake my head, man. And with the G29. Uh, That's what it looks like. The little red thing. I could be wrong with that. I mean, this game that... I don't know. I, I haven't played it. The only good Need for Speed out there, to be honest with you, is Need for Speed Underground 2. Riders on the Storm with Snoop Dogg. And, I guess, uh, Burnout... Or no. Need for Speed didn't make Burnout. Need for Speed... Hot Pursuit, that game was pretty fun too. That'd be a cool game to stream. But yeah, anyways, I kind of just went over some stuff, kind of gave you an update. It started as a, uh, you know, update to a channel and talked about the fuel VR wheel, kind of get you guys uh, into that. Kind of open your eyes to see what other wheels are out there, what's coming uh, to the sim community. Very good. Uh, and then we kind of watched this. So overall, it was kind of an update video. Just I don't have uh, my Oculus right now. And God knows I can't drift without it. It's just weird going from uh, Oculus to screens. If you guys have an Oculus, you'll understand that. If you don't, you won't understand it. But bear with me. It's a uh, pretty crappy situation. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to leave comments down below on all the key topics I kind of highlighted that makes me feel better about the choices I do for this channel and it impacts uh, the content for the video. If you guys, the more feedback I get from you guys, the more I can produce better videos. And I just decided to do this video, so let me know if you like this, if you want me to do kind of a drift review, like of the week, kind of talk about new stuff that's kind of on my mind. I think that'd be pretty interesting as well. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, VR stuff will be back hopefully in two weeks. Uh, and other than that, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you knew the channel and made it through this and found it interesting, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell too. I mean, I just found out about that and it's been like a year. There's a bell icon that gives you notifications when I go live. Very cool. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> I got the green screen behind me still. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks. Later. Peace. Web fingers out. Huh.